Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to the Manila Museum's very first Facebook Live studio visit. My name is Catherine Page. I'm the Curator of Art and Education, and I am so glad that you joined us today. Um, as we get started, I wanted to let you know that you should um, have definitely gone over to Little Indies, our partner for this um, great program and picked up your Cobra style craft cocktail over there. They are our partner and we're really glad to be working with them for this. And we thank them so much for um, making this cocktail in honor of Don Rymix today. Um, please go check out, support them. They've got a lot of fun things coming up too to keep everyone busy and having a great time during this uh, pandemic that we're all in. But um, for now, I'd like to thank you guys all for being here and please um, reach out with any kind of questions that you have tonight. Uh, myself and John Rymix will be really happy to, to answer. Um, as we move forward, we've got about 20 minutes of a really great virtual studio visit for you um, with Dawn and a peek inside his creative mind. So um, what we really wanted to do today was to connect with you guys and to reconnect with our community um, through uh, this, this awesome exhibition and through our artists. So um, Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about our new fall season opener, which is Construct Our Orlando. Um, and it's gonna be opening on October 2nd. So um, sidebar, that means that the Myra Lear exhibition, High Watermark, is also going to be extended through September. So when we're ready and to safely reopen, that exhibition will go, um, will still be open for everyone to check out. Um, and then our great fall opener will be Construct Our Orlando, which features Don Rymix. So today I would like to have the pleasure of introducing him to you. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, just give a really brief intro of his work, of how I look at it, um, and uh, show you a couple images in case you're not completely familiar with his work. So what I'm going to do is add in a screen share for you to see one of his pieces. Let's see here. So this is from his website here and it's one of the pieces that he's also done on canvas. It's going to be in the exhibition as well. Dialogos. Uh, love this. Um, but so um, Dawn, through his artistic practice, considers a multitude of themes around the complexity of the title of the exhibition. So he's painting investigations of um, sociocultural, sociocultural constructs of identity and the body and literal construction of place. And his work really highlights and combines notions of what people might consider high and low art with mural making and graphic arts with painting and creating these be beautiful, vibrant, contemporary portraits. So Dawn, thank you so much for joining us. Let me add you into the stream here. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Hey. I'm good, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for inviting me and all the viewers into your house today, into your studio. It's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so tell me about um, what you've been working on today. So I've been working in the, the new body of work for my new exhibition in the Manila Museum. Uh, going to be in October. Um, I've been working in this piece behind me. Yeah, do you uh, want to tell us about it? So it's a, it's a, you know, like a kind of remember thing when I was young and in Puerto Rico, uh, back in the days in Navidad and Christmas days. So in, instead to make uh, fireworks, so we build like this kind of object. <laughs> uh, we call it like a, like a bazooka. And, <laughs> And we do it with the uh, uh, beans cans and uh, tape. Um, 
like a fluid and and then you you, you make an explosion but you know it was that kind of uh it's like a story you know i passed i was playing to my kid too and and all of a sudden i'm like this is part of you know the the path you know i've been i've been walking through and i think it's important you know sometimes to to uh documenting those those times you know because that's you know part of the construction of you know like of what we've been doing you know in, in these days absolutely <clears throat> so this one specific i've been working with with acrylics um you know a little bit uh, more far from the spray paint uh, because you know like it gives me more like textures and other things you know get the spray don't 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 give me um for me you know i've been doing like a lot of big murals and you know everything is aerosol um now to do like a interior format is a it it, it, it caught me you know and in the in the studio and i just want to you know experiment more you know with the with the medium and try to you know explore more the light and and giving that the feelings you know of the classical painting you know in a in a contemporary you know uh, world conversation so this is one of the one uh, uh, I've, I've been doing and you know this is pretty pretty big uh, but i also have like uh, a a, a smaller format and also have you know, some more uh, like like this um it's like i've been working like in about 12 pieces for for this show so uh, for me it's, it's it's really important you know i'm i'm really excited uh, in being you know like uh, exploring more with the with the theme you know of 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 the construction you know um how how us uh, are being part of that of, of all of that you know uh, path you know in the land. absolutely and i love that it's this kind of idea of collapsing timelines there too so it's it's your child it's yourself it's your own background everything coming together yeah i've been using you know a lot of um, uh, my models you know now it's like my family too mm -hmm. so uh, i've been using them a lot you know because i think it, it adds more feeling you know to the piece too you know um he put it in content Absolutely. you know and what, what i'm what i'm doing you know and my my mechanic, you know, my day by day, you know, like I'm, I'm with them all the time. So, mm -hmm. be there. <laughs> <laughs> so you can already tell too, that this is an experimentation for you that you're branching and growing and um, adding new processes to your work. Um, if you look at one of your murals, of course, we've got this beautiful piece, this woman with all of this swirling um, structures and then we come back to uh, the piece that you're working on behind you and it's just a little bit more limited with those structures and it's more about the person the portrait what's happening in that and i think that's really interesting yeah i'm also you know trying to to play with different materials so i also trying to exploring with uh, different uh, surfaces and you know how I can uh, cut it and put it. You know, bring it back, bring it more. You know, like forward. And... Your pieces working on the wood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got one over here. Maybe I can show a little piece. Yeah, please. Uh... Okay, venga volando. Oh, beautiful. So this is very much your your style that you're known for, that vocabulary that you have, where you've got these beautiful brick colors, um, but they're soft and hard at the same time. 
awesome. Yeah, and just playing, you know, with the structure and the movement of the body, you know, like the body flow. Um, Absolutely. You're exploring, you know, like how how you can do it in different way, you know, like uh, giving the mind some food, you know, so they can, you know, start working. Definitely. But this one is like uh, like a bird. It's, uh, it's like a hybrid nice. bird, you know, because it's a lot of moving in these days, you know, I, a lot of uh, diaspora, uh, immigrations, um, you know, we are part of that movement, you know, like uh, we here this time but we can be in other place in different time you know so absolutely and uh, that's kind of you know it's it's, it's inspiring that in that piece you know that that constantly moving around you know um but also you know like we do little nest everywhere everywhere we go you know so that's important too you know how you know you keep that relationship in between all those little nests you, you left you know and everywhere you you walk yeah, so, so okay. you were talking to me earlier about when you're creating your murals and getting into the community, and that sounds a lot like the little nests and moving around and migrating in that aspect too, and meeting new communities. Yeah, the anthropology, you know, uh, work, you know, uh, mm -hmm. in, in the mural, you know, and the public spaces, you know, a little, uh, it has to be a little bit with that, you know, like because you're more closer to the to the people who live there, you know, every day. Like you, you are a visitor, so it's good to you know have the uh, absorb the content, the contest, you know, and then you know you can you can be related, you know, with, uh, directly with the with the people and the and what is happening there, you know. For it's it's really important for the life of the piece too you know because depends on how the people like it you know the piece in the in the community they how long they they are gonna decide you know how long it's gonna be there you know and if you have that connection with them you know and with, with the piece so they can do get that connection too you know like the piece is gonna you know stay a little bit longer than the you know, than, than other ones, you know. So your word and your message ends up meeting and greeting more people. So what, um, with your with your pieces, with the subject matter, what are you trying to, or what are you hoping to get across with your artwork? I want to the people to reflect, you know, around, about themselves, you know, about, you know, like the people, okay, the neighbors, you know, they, the us, you know, que, you know, uh, as a visitor, and just create a conversation. I think it's important, you know, in these days, you know, that we, uh, every day we get in more uh, personal space, you know, it's bigger and bigger. <laughs> and we have to, you know, keep that linking, you know, and uh, that connection between us, so. Yeah, so. you have a lot of bridge building between people in your artwork, absolutely. And bridge building of their selves, of their personal selves, and then farther out. I, you and I had talked in the past about, you know, this multicultural heritage and um, really bringing everything together and the similarities versus differences that you bring out in your artwork as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, in, it's really important to to be aware, you know, of, of what's, uh, what's culturally, you know, part of you, you know, and how you connect with other cultures, you know, and how you can create something new, you know, like uh, just in collaborations, you know, I'm, I'm just just talking with, with the people, you know, I'm, I'm sharing ideas and and see what we can do together, you know, but what you got and what I got, you know, we're cooking something. I think that that's a, a really good experiment, you know, that we always have to do, you know, and keep it going, you know, as a, 
as an athlete, ¿no? Como sport. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so one quick question for you, which is not a quick question at all, but it's a really great question that I like to bring to my artist is, so what's the purpose of um, the artwork for you? And what do you really want to say? So the purpose is, you know, like, for me, it's, it's not like a, I want to say something specific, you know. Uh, I'm not coming over here to preach nobody and, you know, um, or to tell you, you know, what what you have to like or no, you know, like I bring in something that for me, I think uh, it's, it's another point of view, you know, my point of view. Um, in base of my experience, you know, I can, you know, uh, reflect that in the in the in the in my work, you know, my body work, and how the people connect with that, you know, it can be different ways, you know. Um, but always, you know, it's good to to documenting everything, you know. Like uh, for me, it's it's really important, you know, like the the continuation of of, of creativity, you know, like. We do this today, but we we trying to challenge ourselves every time, you know, and and trying to to create more, you know, like keep the mind uh, pushing it, you know, to as far as we can, you know. For me, that's that's what I I, I wanna you know bring, you know, that that feeling of of we gonna keep doing it more and more and more, you know. And when you see my work, it's like, you know. <clears throat> I start in, in totally different way that I'm I, I'm the, what I'm doing uh, right now. You know, this is a totally different style than what I'm doing like ten years ago. You know, and every time I have I want to change it. You know, I want to bring other stuff and and it, it, it converts. You know, in different things. You know, and for me that's that's not what I want to bring. You know that. That, that freedom of, you know, it can be like this today, but tomorrow it can be, you know, something different, you know. Um, um, you know, it's that, that risk, you know, that exploring thing, that, that uh, uh, need to, for, for learning, you know, uh, other things, you know, for, to, that's why, you know, I'm, 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 I'm work, you know, like, keep pushing, you know, like, it's not, mute. the mute's not coming in, in the car, you know, it's, you have to meet her working. <laughs> yes. And for me, working, it comes beside, you know, uh, uh, with with the other things, you know, so uh, inspiring other people to, to work and keep, uh, uh, keeping their mind creative, for me, that's, that's what I'm trying to bring, you know, like that. that. Yeah. So you think like working with your community is really what is keeping your inspiration going and yeah. It's never ending, you know, yeah. because it's going to be another one and everybody's different, you know, and and you learn different things. So it's it's going to it's going to be a continuing thing, you know. So that's uh, I think it's it's really good. Um, I enjoy it every time I do it, you know, so okay. I'm trying to do as much as I can. <laughs> well, I very much enjoy your work and all of the the language that you really create in your pieces. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, I wanted to ask our viewers if you guys had any questions for Dawn um, before we say our goodbyes. I'll wait a couple what of minutes. What I can see. You you see the the the, the chat, no? Yes, I can. Yes. So um, someone wanted to know if the t-shirt design was your own, um, and where they could buy it from. If what? If your shirt design, if that's your own, and where they'd be able to buy it from. Oh yeah, yeah. In my website, La Peste a Coco. www dot L A P E S T E dot com all right 
Let's see if I can, I'm going to try to bring it up real quick um, for the shop to see if I can share that with everyone. That'd be really nice because we definitely, as much as we're all working, we want to make sure our artists are supported too. Uh, so let me share that screen with you. And there we go. So that's what his website looks like where you can find new shirts right there. <laughs> there it is. All right. Some other yeah, I got, I got a few new things over there that people yeah. can. Yeah. And so every now and then you'll have prints as well. So it all yeah, goes. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. So check that out. Let's see if I have another question here. Um, oh, okay. We added it to the comments too, in case anybody wants to check that out. So, well, thank you so much, Dawn, for everything. Um, is there anything you want to talk about before we head out? We're good. We're good. We're excited. Huh? This, this was yes. good. Yes. Thank you so much, thank Little Indies and Will's Pub. I have um, a little picture to share with you here too. See. So um, as we're heading out here, I just wanted to really thank everybody for being here and to remember to follow the Manila Museum, to follow Don Rymix as well, both of us on Facebook and Instagram. You can sign up for our Manila Museum newsletters on our exhibitions, um, our manilamuseum.org slash exhibitions, and just scroll down and it's on the right hand side. Um, in two weeks, we'll be coming back with artist Lemon Press, uh, May 13th at 6 p.m. to do another Facebook Live and chat with them. And that is Anna Cruz and Adam Levine. Um, tonight, I do want to do one last plug for our partner, Little Indies. They're going to be doing a live streaming of Eugene Snowden, who is also one of our um any folk fest artists who we've had many times and he's very beloved and that starts at nine o'clock for their live stream there. So please check that out. And um, thank you again from Little Indies for all of that. We definitely appreciate it. So thanks everyone for joining us and we hope thank to see you. everyone again soon. Thanks. Bye. -bye.